Final instructions from referee Dale Grable. This is a 10 round junior lightweight bout. That's what it's scheduled for. Emmanuel Burton taking on pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Burton, a journeyman. The record of 22, 16, and 4. He has 10 knockouts in his career. Mayweather has never been beaten. He's round one from Cobo Hall of Detroit, Michigan. We'll see if Floyd Mayweather can put on a show for the local fans. Extremely quick. Has everything he'd want in a young fighter. Looking forward to perhaps a huge year next year. Perhaps taking on Cobrito Gonzalez and then the fight a lot of people want to see. Mayweather and Diego Chico Corrales. That might happen either May or June. Look at the quickness as Floyd goes right to work. Good combination over the top. Floyd Mayweather in the black shiny trunks with the white trim. Emmanuel Burton with the leopard trunks. Burton well aware of the quickness and power that he faces tonight. Mayweather has 17 knockouts in his 23 professional fights. So he will jump on you pretty quick if he can. Mayweather able to step in and land pretty much wherever he wants to right now. Sizing out what Burton might be bringing to him, but he pushes him back and then throws a right. There's a combination inside, a left that landed on the chin of Burton. Slight smile from Burton, which means he got hurt probably. That's usually what a fighter does. Burton trying to, <laughs> trying to use some footwork, holding his hands down. And that'll be just great for Floyd because he will light him up. And Burton said, no, you're not hurting me. You can't hurt me. Burton, very strange style against a world-class performer like Floyd Mayweather. He probably won't last long with his hands around his hips. That would be my prediction. Nice flicking jab inside from Floyd. Break! Burton continues to smile away at him. Whether or not he's just inviting trouble, we'll have to see. Burton comes back with a little jab of his own. Watch that elbow. Mayweather, boy. nice overhand right. Very lightning fast jab. In terms of the whole package, Mayweather has it and can use it. Burton trying to throw some jabs. Missing a little bit. He just took a straight right hand of the nose. Another right hand in the left followed on the inside. A lot of damage being done by Mayweather here. Big left hand as Burton tries to avoid it, and he's now smiling once again at Floyd Mayweather. Burton throws a kiss to Floyd Mayweather. That ought to get him pretty hot. I haven't seen that before. Let's listen to the Mayweather corner. You doing what you're doing right now. You gonna, gonna stop anyway. You're gonna be a number time. Yeah, you tell you, the motherfucking punch is going off right there, and not like fireworks. Don't worry about it. Just keep fighting smart. That's all you have to do. You're going to stop me anyway. Just keep fighting smart. Don't get over angry. Just, yes, sir. Keep fighting smart, OK? We're here for a purpose, OK? What are we here for? To win. And we're going to do it, right? Yes, are we wasting our time then? we got to get it on. I want you to take those hands out and start throwing. Do what we learn. Yeah. We're not here. It's time, baby. We're going to do it or what? Give me that mouthpiece. Give me the bucket. Give me the bucket. OK, you got to give me a fifth bucket. Get up and breathe deep. Six down. Six down, coach. That's Nelson Two. Lopez in the corner of Two. Burton doing what a trainer should do, trying to get the most out of his fighter. Say, we came here to win. Burton, very strange behavior in that round. He's smiling most of the way. Then he blew Floyd Mayweather a kiss. Burton comes out very aggressive. Break, Mayweather ties punching. him up just off the ropes. And Burton, listening to what his corner had to say, came out aggressive. Burton's in the leopard trunks. Mayweather's in the black sparkly trunks. Burton seems to be having a good time out there, shuffling and moving his shoulders and smiling. And all they tell you, told Mayweather to do was continue to fight a smart fight, which you know he will do. 
Mayweather has the right hand cocked and ready to unload if he can. Mayweather fighting before a very partisan crowd here, of course, because he's from here. We're at Cobalt Hall in Detroit, Michigan. A scheduled 10 round junior lightweight fight. You got to give Burton credit. He's been very aggressive. Keeps flicking the jabs, throwing the jabs. Floyd's picking him off with his gloves. Floyd has a slight grin on his face there because he was having fun in there with the boxing match. Big left hand to the stomach of Burton that may have taken some wind out of him, but Burton continues to come in and throw. Very active. Nice little right hand loop into the nose of Burton. Floyd comes at you from all kinds of angles. Another right hand over the top for Pretty Boy Floyd. Burton has tried to be as active as possible. That was a nice right hand that knocked Burton's head back. Just snapped his head back with that little uppercut from the inside. There's a left and a right. Two hard punches. Another right to the jaw for Floyd. Mayweather landed another straight left. Now his target shooting. He's got him in trouble on the ropes. Burton's in trouble trying to fight back. He's a hurt fighter right now, trying to come back at Mayweather. Mayweather's landed three or four hard shots, and Burton continues to charge forward. A lot of redness to the face of Emmanuel Burton right now. As Mayweather was able to tee off with several shots, but Burton continues to throw. He survived that so far, it appears. Now Burton's talking to Mayweather. Mayweather has a slight grin on his face as he's backed up. There's another hard right. Burton has absorbed some punishment here. Good combination to the head. Burton's got to be staggered at this point. There's another right and another right. And a right straight once more. Burton keeps coming forward. Another hard right. Burton absorbing a lot of damage here. What an impressive round as Mayweather's talking to Burton. So Mayweather was throwing in there. Burton keeps coming forward. There's a nice left that landed square on the chin. And there's the right. And now all of a sudden there's some openings there and Mayweather goes to work. Take a look from this angle. There's the chopping right over the top. You can see Mayweather just boring in on Burton. But you got to get Burton credit. He kept standing there. That was a nice punch that snapped his head. And if Mayweather keeps landing like that with those hard punches, this one won't last long. You see blood pouring out of the nose of Emmanuel Burton right now because he has taken a lot of shots. Burton comes out and goes straight forward, and immediately Mayweather's up against the ropes. Round three of the scheduled 10 round junior lightweight fight from Detroit, Michigan. Emmanuel Burton, the journeyman, is in the leopard trunks, and the champion Floyd Mayweather's in the black sparkly trunks. And you can hear those body shots all the way down here. Burton has already suffered a lot of damage. His nose has been bleeding. Those are some hard, hard punches for Mayweather. Good left that got inside, and now he's all over Burton. But Burton tries to fight back. Blood coming from the nose of Emmanuel Burton. <laughs> Got to remember in Michigan there is a standing eight count. So if the referee wants to step in and give a standing eight, he can. That's completely up to Dale Grable to do that. You can see the confidence and the ring savvy of Mayweather. A lot of blood pouring from the nose of Emmanuel Burton. Mayweather's corner told him just to keep beating him up, and that's what he's doing. Floyd Mayweather putting on a nice boxing show here for the fans in Detroit into the third round. Watch Mayweather step back, choose his spots, pick off those punches, and then go to work. Good right hand. Flush to the cheekbone of Burton. The left hook's been doing some damage, but he followed up with a nice right. There's a body punch that doubled Burton over. There's another body punch that doubled Burton over. Landing from every angle, straight right onto the chin of Emmanuel Burton. There's another right. Burton backing up now. 
That's target practice for Floyd Mayweather out here. Floyd Mayweather Jr. The great champion from Grand Rapids, Michigan, looking to go to 24 0 in his young and brilliant career. Burton continues to stand there and throw, but he's taken a lot of punishment in this fight. Another right hand in the face of Burton. You see the blood being splattered all over his face. Those are hard body punches to the belt line that are taking their effect. There's a right hand over the top. Now it's sharp shooting for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Another right hand straight in for Mayweather Jr. He is really doing a lot of damage to this young man. Emmanuel Burton trying to mount a comeback, but now he's wide open. There's a little bit of a punch after the bell as the two really went at it. Let's take a look at some of this sharpshooting that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is doing. Tremendous right hands, left hands. He's been working the body downstairs. Burton, to his credit, doesn't have a whole lot, but he keeps coming. He keeps coming forward. There's a right that missed from Burton. And look at Floyd. He looks in with those eyes very clear, looking for the openings. Good combinations on the inside. Very effective punches for the most part. Right at the end of the round, they got in a little bit of flurry. The referee's been over in Burton's corner to look at him to see if he's okay. They got hot at the end of that round. A lot of anger being displayed. Let's see what happens here. Floyd's corner telling him to go ahead and go out there and box and beat him up and do what he's pretty much been doing. He's obviously the quicker and the more powerful of the two fighters, but this Burton guy has been in a lot of fights. You see his record, 22-16 and four. He's a journeyman. So he's absorbed a lot of punishment in his career. And he's absorbing mo even more tonight. Burton continuing to throw it inside, and Floyd Mayweather in the black trunks. There's another body shot, and it's starting to take effect. You can see that Burton was bent over from that. Blood to the face. There's a big, hard right hand to the side of Burton's head. He says, I didn't hurt, which means it really hurt. There's another right hand in the jaw. He says, that didn't hurt. He says, bring on another one. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Floyd is really having some fun out there with the target practice. Floyd's content to stay on the ropes right now, throw a short little uppercut to Emmanuel Burton. There's another right hand. One of those is going to end this fight. Some swelling in the eye of Emmanuel Burton. On the left side where those hard right hand punches have come in. Blood continues to trickle down from his nose. Mayweather tipping up the attack a little bit right now. Burton smiling. Smiling again as he gets tagged once again to the head. Hard punches to the head of Emmanuel Burton. Big hard punches. How long can Burton take this? Another hard right. Snaps his head back. Burton spitting blood onto the canvas. He's been hit four or five hard times with a straight right for Floyd Mayweather. It's just target practice on there, right side. The right hand to the left side of the face of Burton. All in a day's work for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Burton pressing forward, but looking a little more wobbly at this point. He's been hit a lot in the first four rounds. He's a little bit ineffective now, and he's getting to the point that he's almost defenseless as he's not able to really throw any punches. This is scheduled for 10 rounds. It won't go that far. Final seconds, round four. Burton continues to his credit to try to mount some kind of offense. And that's the end of round four. Once again, they're smiling at one another. Roger Mayweather wanting his nephew to come with that right hand over the top, the right hook. Emmanuel Burton is still with us. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Burton's in the leopard trunks.
Still throwing punches. Pretty effective punching inside for Burton, but doesn't seem to be doing much damage. He's talking, he's talking to Mayweather. He wants a war. Good right hand from Mayweather. Left hand. And Burton is feigning that he is hurt, feigning the wobbly legs, basically making Mayweather, making fun of Mayweather, and I, you have to see if Floyd's going to bite to see if he loses his cool. You see a little blood on the lip of Floyd Mayweather from a right hand earlier. Now he's measuring up his own right hand. Seems like Burton's trying to taunt Mayweather into doing something that he didn't want to do. He just wants a brawl. Nice combinations on the hand. inside. Mayweather's got a lot of blood trickling from his nose from a right hand that landed earlier. He's in against a brawler, a guy who's been in a lot of fights, has not gone down yet, has been smiling and faking like he's wobbly, and generally Burton seems to be having a good time with it. He continues to throw. So Mayweather's gonna have to step up and take care of business. Nice jabs inside, there's another chopping right to the jaw. Mayweather stepping back and looking for his openings. Flailing wildly is Emmanuel Burton, who almost threw himself out of the ring. But Burton came here tonight to just take as much as he could and throw as much as he can. Obviously not the talent of Floyd Mayweather Jr., but Burton is trying to put on a show. Nice combination from Mayweather once again. There's that right hand to the left eye of Burton. That left eye is beginning to swell. Two hard punches there. Another hard punch. Burton virtually defenseless in the middle of the ring right now. Says, bring me some more. And Mayweather will probably oblige. Blood pouring out of the nose of Emmanuel Burton. That's the end of that round, and Burton continues to smile. Let's see this dance that Burton put on for us in this round. There we go, the wobbly legs, trying to get, perhaps trying to get Mayweather to get a little frustrated. Bill, <laughs> you see me move? Here's right a combination that really stung, and there was no, this was real wobbly legs six here down. because he was getting hit from every angle. Look at Run Floyd six. Six down, measuring him up. Get him out of there, Bill. Down, Floyd guys. has a little blood from his nose. Stay Nelson up. Lopez Stay over in the Burton corner himself. trying to keep his man yeah. going in this fight. It's scheduled for 10 rounds. We're going to round six from Cobalt Hall in Detroit, Michigan. Emmanuel Burton in the leopard trunks. Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the black trunks with the white trim. Emmanuel Burton has absorbed a lot of punishment in this fight, a lot. But he continues to do this. He comes out and continues to throw. There's not a lot behind his punches. He did get a right hand in in round five that bloodied the nose of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd's been landing punches downstairs when he can. But the opening shot has been to the left cheekbone right there of Emmanuel Burton. You saw that three right hand punch combination, just one right after the other. Then he goes downstairs, bends him over, comes up top. Those punches are coming from every angle. And somehow Burton is absorbing the punishment. How, I don't know. He's beginning to show a little bit more of the war that he's been in. No joking and kidding around so far in this round. There's another right hand that stings him. Floyd has been very effective downstairs and then when he gets Emmanuel Burton bent over, he comes over the top and lands some hard punches. Floyd Mayweather, a very smart fighter, knows what he wants to accomplish in this fight. He's won every round so far handily. Some big, big fights coming down the road for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Cabrita Gonzalez, perhaps about February, then the fight that everybody wants to see, Diego Chico Corrales and Floyd Mayweather Jr., that will be a huge fight. Tonight he's just trying to put on a show, and he is for the fans. But they have found an opponent tonight who just throws and goes.
Under one minute left in round six of a scheduled 10 round fight. Two more right hands for Floyd Mayweather Jr. There's another one. Picking away once again. It's just how much punishment can Burton take? He's taken a lot so far, but eventually, just the combination of all he's been hit with will be too much to bear. It's been a good exercise tonight for Mayweather, though. He's been in it's a guy who's very scrappy, a guy who there's a nice hard right hand for Mayweather. He just seems to be cocking it and loading it now. There's another one and another one. Eventually, this is going to take a toll on Burton. Look at Mayweather. He's intent. He's got that right hand ready to load. Oh, it's a good combination right at the bell. Tell him to keep on throwing, which he's don't have any problem with that. Burton was smiling at the end of round six when he was hit with a lightning fast combination, four punch combination on the inside. Burton has done nothing but go forward all night. Dale Grable warning Floyd about hooking there on the inside. But Burton seems to have found some burst of energy. There's a nice combination to the head. A little left got in. You can see the blood on Mayweather's nose. And left got in to Burton. Burton has done some damage of his own in this fight. We're in the seventh round. Emmanuel Burton in the leopard trunks, taking on the champion, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And now, we don't know what Burton's doing. He's dancing around after being tagged. Look at those short punches inside for Mayweather. Look at him, he's having fun, tagging away. Wondering what he's got to do to get this man down, staying out of harm's way. Mayweather's got blood trickling down from his nose. Emmanuel Burton is dancing like he wants to go clubbing, but instead he's getting clubbed. Oh, there's another downstairs hard punch. Those body shots eventually will bend everybody over. But Mayweather, like I said, will come at you from every angle he sees. There's another body shot, doubling up with the right hand. Right hand of the body, right hand of the head. The left side of Burton's face is getting real ugly. Now he's staggering around. Now he wants to dance again. He seems to relish in the punishment that he's taking. got to be amazed at Burton standing there taking all these punches that he's taken. This has been quite an exercise, if nothing else, for Floyd Mayweather Jr. tonight. And Floyd did get a punch to the nose that left him a little bit bloody. But he has kept his cool. He hasn't been frustrated while the other guys clowned around a little bit. Final seconds of round seven. Target practice continues for Mayweather. Another hard right, another hard right. There's another right. And Burton is still standing, and he wants to have another conversation. Well, I think it's a little late for Burton's corner to start telling him how to box, because he, he's not in there to box tonight. Sometimes you have to laugh at what they say in the corner about moving side to side. He hasn't moved side to side except when he was dancing. Here he comes straight at Mayweather once again. We're in round eight. Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the black trunks. Earlier this year in March, in his only other fight this year, Mayweather Jr. went the distance against Gregorio, Gregorio Vargas in Las Vegas. And he wasn't too happy about having to go the distance against Vargas. Had some turmoil in his camp. Now his uncle Roger is training him. And 
when you hear about Mayweather, he has all the combinations that you hear about. Confidence, speed, boxing skills, power. And tonight you're seeing all those skills. He's just in against a guy who has concrete for a head and he can't seem to put him down. But you have to wonder about the attrition. The referee steps in now to stop the fight for a second. He wants the doctor to come over and look. He's got blood in his ear. They want the doctor to look at Bert. Look in your ear. They're concerned about blood in his ear, being cautious. You see, Burton's not happy about it. The referee just doing his job to make sure that nothing terribly awful happens here tonight. And he has a right to be concerned, this Dale Grable, a veteran referee, because he's seen a lot of fights and he's seen the damage that this man is suffering. Now, whether or not he goes down in this fight is yet to be seen, but he may pay the price later on, and he just wanted him to look at him, and Burton was protesting, as they all do. But it's a smart move and the right move. As I was saying, Mayweather is a fighter of supreme confidence, great pedigree. They say he was born to fight, and he's not going to do anything really stupid in this fight. I'm wondering if the referee's thinking, because he's seen a shutout so far, that why not end this thing before Burton winds up in the hospital? And we've seen this pattern before. When Mayweather won the title, there he is going to the left hand, backing up with the right. He's just beating up Burton at every angle that you can. Now Mayweather looks like he's going to end this thing. He's trying to step in. Burton says, that doesn't hurt, but it's got to hurt. It's not human for that not to hurt. Mayweather's pitched a shutout so far, and the only damage so far has been a bloody nose to, to Floyd. But as I was saying, when he won the title in 1998, Hernando Hernandez, the great two-time champion, his brother stopped the fight after the eighth round because he felt like Hernando was absorbing too much punishment. And you have to wonder if the corner of Burton, after eight rounds of seeing this, might want to live to fight another day and consider ending this fight. Has managed to stay upright against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Mayweather, two of his last four fights have gone the distance. His last fight, in fact, in March, he won over Gregorio Vargas, but that one went the distance. He's pitching a shutout tonight. The outcome is not in doubt at all. It's just a matter of how much punishment Burton wants to absorb. Mayweather Jr. fought three times in 1999 against some good competition. He went to the distance in February of 99 against Carlos Rios in Grand Rapids here. Justin Juco he beat in the ninth round and Carlos Arena both those fights. Last year he won by knockout or technical knockout. There's a nice left hand inside. Got the crowd going. Now you see that Burton is going to his nose and they're waving off his corners waving the fight off. That's probably a wise move. Nelson Lopez is thrown in the towel. His fighter has absorbed enough punishment here. And that was a wise move. As I was saying, it was a shutout all the way. Let's take a look at the final seconds, and you can see that Floyd's looking over. He sees something going on in the corner, and there is the towel being waved into the ring by Nelson Lopez, and it was the right thing to do. There's no doubt about it. Floyd is complaining as I'm listening that he may have hurt his right hand, which is entirely possible, as many right hands as he threw in this fight. Let's hope that he's okay, but he says it hurts. His right hand hurts, so maybe he wasn't able to unload as hard a punch as he would like had many times in this fight because when your hand hurts any fighter will tell you that it's nearly impossible to throw any shots without feeling like you're being stung by bees in your hand. But let's hope that he's okay. There's still a, 